So we've uh, just finished our first day of a two-day shoot with double world and Olympic champion Keiji Suzuki here in uh, the Kodokan in Tokyo. Uh, it really has been the most amazing day. Um, Suzuki is a real hero of mine and really is one of the best fighters of all time. Um, the dojo we're filming in here um, means quite a lot to both uh, me and uh, one of the other guys that's working with me, Jack. Um, both our fathers worked in this dojo um, about 16 years ago with uh, Toshi Kokoka, Triple World and Olympic Champion, where we filmed Cobra and You Win. And now we're here back 16 years later with Suzuki. Um, Suzuki uh, did want to uh, film with us. He's been wanting to work with us for a while. Um, we tried to get him over to England to film in our uh, Superstar Judo uh, studio, um, but his schedule just wouldn't allow him the amount of days that would need to fly him out and back. Um, so we thought, well, we'll come out to him and uh, we'll, we'll come out here and film him here. Um, and um, yeah, it's just been absolutely awesome. Um, first day's just up and we've just filmed, uh, we've done his um, Diashi Barai, we've done his Koso Tagari, uh, we've done his um, Oso Tagari, Ashi Garuma, um, and uh, just oh, incredible stuff he's shown us. We had uh, some time up in the Grand Dojo earlier, um, the famous Grand Dojo, and had it all to ourselves. Um, just had him uh, bowing on the mat, coming on there, doing some judo. Um, some nice promotional stuff and it looked amazing just him in the big dojo um, uh, little did we realize that we were actually holding up uh, an international training camp and the minute we stopped about 300 yokers piled onto the mat um, some of the best fighters in the world today actually um, and uh, yeah then we struggled to get back down to the dojo because they're all coming up the stairs um, but no it's been it's been great Suzuki's been uh, really, really fun to work with. He's a really humble guy, just as you'd expect from the Japanese, but he, he's been awesome. Um, uh, Uki's been great. Um, we've uh, we've got, uh, got a good structure in, in terms of how we film because we don't just want to show classic uh, Japanese uh, demonstration, which is a lot of the time what the Japanese do. So we've come here with all of the footage that we've got from years and years filming judo around the world in some of the biggest competitions. Um, and what we've done is we've come here with all of his footage from the uh, biggest tournaments that he's won um, and um, we're going through each and every technique, first of all studying the footage, having a look at it and, um, and then identifying what are the key elements. Uh, we then spend some time where we're on the mat, we're talking with him, we're talking with the Yuki's and we're working out um, what it is. Uh, I mean obviously he's, he's got most of it in his head but the stuff from competition is, is really important because the, the reality is, um, even if he goes and demonstrates a technique, actually there's a lot more that's going on to uh, make that work in competition because of the scenario of the competition, because of the type of competitor he's up against, um, the type of grips, that type of thing. Um, so it's, it's critical to have that. Um, and as a result, we get all of the basics and all of the fundamentals of the technique, but we actually get all of the intricacies and the tricks and what he does different in competition. And, and a lot of the time, you know, when, not just for Suzuki, but when we're working with a lot of the top guys, um, it's the same for all of them. You know, they, they notice things in those uh, clips that make them realize uh, what they're doing and what's different. And um, so we've covered a lot for each technique, we've covered it a lot. Um, it's uh, sort of a case of showing the technique uh, in full and then really going into detail, really breaking it down, showing what the arms are doing, showing what the hands are doing, what the head's doing, where the direction is, what the feet are doing, um, what the movement is, um, how he's uh, getting a reaction in his opponent. Uh, there, uh, there's so many elements to it. How he trains the technique, um, how he finishes the technique off, uh, the difference between left and right. Um, uh, the difference in terms of the type of opponent he's, he's up against, even if he's a left-handed fighter and the left-handed opponent is, uh, who's against him is on his lapel or whether he's arm over the top, the intricacy and the different way he'll move or the different way he'll get reaction or um, how, the different ways in which he breaks balance. Um, and that's what we've tried to do with this shoot. We've, we've really tried to get into the meat of the technique because I think everyone tries to learn Ashiwaza, and, and certainly here in Japan, they're, they're, all, they're crazy about Ashiwaza. I mean, Ashiwaza is, is, is everything when it comes to judo, um, but actually putting it into practice and making it work, uh, making it work against the top fighters and in the top competitions, um, it just doesn't happen. It just, it just doesn't happen, but Suzuki did, and that's what he was famous for. He used to throw the top guys in the top competitions, in the finals, 
um, with the most amazing ashy weather. And this is looking at how do you transfer, so understanding the principles, but how do you transfer uh, learning ashy weather to actually really taking it to the next level, making it work in Randori and in competition. Um, and uh, that's, what we've, um, that's what we've really, really looked at here. And that's what we've really, really got to the bottom of. We've got another day coming up tomorrow um, where we're going to be uh, filming, hopefully, his Uchi Mate, his coach, Igari, is actually was a combination, and we're going to do a nice interview with him as well. Um, we really can't wait to show you all of this stuff on Superstar Judo. This really is what Judo is all about. Judo is minimum effort, maximum efficiency, and who better in the world than Keiji Suzuki to demonstrate that Ashiwaza, when it comes down to it, Ashiwaza is the epitome of minimum effort, maximum efficiency, and there is no better fighter in the world, arguably of all time, uh, than Keiji Suzuki in terms of demonstrating that, showing that, um, and uh, we've done it. We've got the shoot with him, and uh, you wait until you see this stuff. It's amazing.